There's going to be a giveaway. Actually, we're going to have three things. Three things to give away in this video. That's right. So. Hello, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. And I'm Scott. Welcome. Today we're going to do a little uh, episode for you on uh, improvised lighting, like what to do when the power goes out. It happens to everybody. There's lots of different alternatives. All of them work, but they all kind of work at different levels, and uh, some of them are easier to use, and some of them are a lot safer. So we thought we might get into that with you today and let you know what we use and how they work. So in other words, we're going to light up your life tonight. How oh, illuminating. <laughs> okay. The first one I was going to talk about, actually, probably, we'll, we want to start from smallest and smallest and go up. Get that one out of the way. We're in charge. Um, these little mag lights. A lot of people don't realize this. The regular AA mag light. This one, oh yeah, well, this that is that's too. just that's a regular flashlight. Everybody... Okay, actually, if you want to start here, <laughs> there's all manners of flashlights that can be had. Okay, I mean, this all the way from, that's a, a they call it a, a mag light solitaire, runs on one AAA battery. This is obviously a tactical light that's made to go on a weapon. It's heavy and the batteries are expensive. It's very bright. These are uh, more or less middle of the road. They run on... I think this is three AAA batteries, but it's still a really nice, really nice white. You know, it's very, very bright. That particular one is a Tasco. And you got headlamps, stuff like that. But what we really want to talk about aren't the lights you need to be able to get around in your house. You know, your flashlights work great for that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to sit and have a conversation shining a light in each other's eyes. Right. So we were going to try and talk about actual room lighting you know what you yeah. do to light up an area say if you wanted to play a, a game with the kids have a card game with the adults maybe uh i don't know a few drinks always go always water. drinking always going for the drinking yeah. <laughs> that gets us into this mag light there's lots of better alternatives these things are very dated they've been around for a long time they're really not all that bright but one thing that they do a lot of people don't realize if you unscrew this, it becomes a base and that actually stands up. And as you can see, it does throw a fair amount of light. I mean, it's, it's not a lot, but it's probably close to as bright as the railroad lantern is. Yeah, I agree. And that railroad lantern is burning fuel as an open flame in your house. The railroad lanterns are fine, you know, they're durable, but they're just, they're just not, they're just not the, uh, the best option. If that's what you have, that's fine. But this, this one here is, like I said, it's probably a century old. It's a real dite, dite or deet. And my parents used to have an old barn with uh, livestock and stuff. These were hanging in all the stalls. The hurricane lanterns, railroad lanterns, barn lanterns, whatever you want to call them. The problem with them is they're just so restricted because of all the crap that's hooked to them. So they just they just don't put out that much light overall. Okay, so. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here okay. to help. <laughs> okay, so uh, this next option actually uh, it's probably the most common. You see these candles around everywhere in a glass jar like this. And you don't think about it much, but actually, if you have a couple of those, the glass jar makes a big difference. I'll, you'll, you'll see in a minute. That is probably almost as much light as what the railroad lantern was putting out. What makes all the difference is this glass. It actually reflects a lot of the light. And how I can show you that 
is by you know, how much difference the, uh, the glass actually makes. This is a little tea light. You can find those everywhere. They come in bags of like 50 or 100. Maybe maybe not that many, but quite a few. No, they do. Now, obviously, that little candle isn't going to put off a lot of light. Can I turn the light out? Yeah, go ahead. Turn right. the light out. I'm going to be the light girl. The Thanks. light girl. Lights. Okay. So as you can see, that little tiny light is almost non-existent. Okay, and turn it back on. Okay. This is a tea light lantern. And what it's made for is you take this, if I can do it without burning myself, and you set it right in this little cup like that, and you drop it in here, and let's see how much of a difference that makes. Look at that! You can actually see. I mean, it isn't enough to read a book, but if you had to come into a room and, you know, be able to walk around without tripping over something, this would do it for you. Very cheap alternative. You can put one of those in the bottom of any mason jar and it will work. Anything with a glass globe is going to make it give off more light. That's the point. You don't get a lot cheaper than that either. Those tea lights are very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. They don't last a long time. But. No, they probably, I don't know, what, three or four hours maybe before they burn out? I would say maybe longer. Maybe longer. They probably have different ones that last longer than others. And then we can move on to... Uh, some more battery operated options, I guess. This is a new little light that we uh, picked up someplace to do a review on. And actually, you want to tell them or should I? There's going to be a giveaway. Actually, we're going to have three things. Three things to give away in this yeah. video. That's right. So, and you're looking at one. This is one. This Van little is lantern. Holding, Van is holding yes. one. Yes. Right it, is, it turns up, you can turn it up. So this one's actually got a compass in the lid. Now that throws quite a bit of LED light. It's an LED, yeah, it's an LED one. So that actually throws off a lot of light. Yeah. Considering what it is, this is a very, very inexpensive rig. It probably runs on, what, two double A's? Um, I want to say three. Three double A's. three in there. But no fire, kids can knock it over. You could turn yes. it down, turn it up. Yeah, definitely good for kids. Very safe, you know, for, for the kids if they want to be in their room, you know, while you're doing something else. And yeah. It's definitely a good option for the kids. It's plastic, and um, if they had it in their room next to their bed in case the power went out and they needed a lantern to go to right. the bathroom or find you. or Yeah, and it's got the little handle so you can, you can carry it around or hang it. You know, yeah. if you hang it up high, you're going to get even more light out of it. Yep. So that's always good. Coleman actually makes these that are the same size and shape as their big lanterns. We got one of those for my daughter. And that thing works super. It takes a lot of batteries, but they last a long time. So then the next level would be these. This is another little LED light. That one throws off a little more light. It's a little warmer. And that one you turn up or down by how far in or out you slide the core. Like a nuclear reactor there. Yes, it does, it. yeah. But uh, that, that also throws a fair amount of light. Now, we're not talking about a lot of money here. No. I'm guessing all this, nothing we've talked about yet is going to run you over 10 bucks. Yeah, both of these were $5 a piece. There you go. Not counting the batteries for this one. That one already had batteries, I think. But, but it's, it, it's a hell of a lot better, in my opinion, being able to do that. I can see to pick stuff up. I can see to, you know, look what I'm doing. It's a lot easier than having a flashlight and having to shine it and focus it all the time. It gives you some good area light. Yep. But this is the, these battery operated, especially the, uh, the little LED ones, uh, probably one of your safest options, especially if you're in an apartment someplace, you're not in your own home, you're leery about, you know, open, open flame, you know, because let's face it, anytime you've got an open flame, mm -hmm. it's dangerous. But, so that's that's always an option. You can, as you can see, that you can get them in all different colors. This one we got for our granddaughter. Yep. Might have matched her snowsuit or something at the time. I don't know. I, I don't they had all different colors anyway. Yeah. I just but, thought it was a pretty color for her. So. Now we're gonna move on to uh, the probably the king daddy of uh, battery operated. 
runs on a regular Milwaukee battery like you'd put in your cordless tools. I'm pretty sure all your companies will, will have these like DeWalt and uh, uh, Ryobi. Uh, I was trying to think who else there is. All of your cordless tool manufacturers will have one of these. There you go. But uh, are you ready for this? This is like an outside light. Now we're talking light. That works good. So now you've got you've got serious. Yeah. You, know, you can really <laughs> see. It has two you light up high, high beam and low beam, but that's low beam, and I mean that's still that still you know works quite a while. It's made. It's got a uh, like a hexagon shape, so you can angle it and point it wherever yeah. you need. That really lights the room up when you point it up that way. That yeah. really lights it up. You can definitely yeah. play cards, play a game. Oh sure, and yeah. that that I've the one that I used to have at work would go for hours and hours and hours before the battery ran dead. And when it gets yeah. dead, you just charge the battery the next day. We have whatever. other tools that are Milwaukee that have that battery, so we could just switch it out if that one died. But that's right. Um, whoa. But, That's yeah. That's a bright one. <laughs> anyway, so that, that puts spots. out quite a bit of light. Yeah, it does. That one works really but good. But you're, you're limited to how much power you have. I and mean, if you've got several batteries charged up, if you've got one battery that quits, you know, this one's all the way charged up, you probably run five or six hours. If it quits, you just put in another battery. When the power comes back on, you're charging back up again. Yeah, it's a lot better than buying a pack of batteries at the store and trying to... Right. Put them in and they run out and you to throw them away. Right. This also works good yeah. if you've got to go outside in the middle of the night. If you hear something, you know, after the chickens or something like that, you've got the handle, you can hold it, you can point it. Yeah. If you have to, you can set it down. You know, they're pretty rugged. So that works pretty good. But these aren't cheap. These things are over a hundred bucks to buy one. And when you start talking about the battery, you're starting to get kind of cost prohibitive. They're cool, but... Uh, where they make sense is if you've already got the system, we've got probably six other tools around here that run on these same batteries. So we've got a bunch of batteries and a charger. You know, it's just something we decided to do when we went off grid was to go cordless. So um, anyway, Most we ended up with this too. So there's that. Now I think we're out of the electric, the electrical business here. And now I'm going to move to the old standby this and actually this are the old coleman lanterns now these run on what's called white gas it's actually naphtha or coleman fuel whatever you want to call it uh not gonna lie to you you're putting a liquid fuel in a tank and you pump it to pressurize it you turn it on and it burns now you've got pressurized flammable liquid you know, a little metal tank, you know, a glass globe. So you want to take this kind of serious because you could you could burn your house down or hurt yourself really bad in a hurry. I mean, I grew up around these things. They don't they don't bother me much, but I made sure that I had something else set up for Shelly to use. Yeah. It was easier They're because scary. these these are ticklish. I'm going to light one for you so mm -hmm. you can see how to do it. I mean, I've done it, but you pump, not pump this to pressurize the tank. And you tighten that up. Okay, and then this is your on and off switch over here. So basically, once it starts burning bright. So bright. And as you can hear, they're noisy. You can probably hear the gas jets. It's you make sure there's enough pressure in the tank to keep it going. Notice I'm leaning. <laughs> The upside to these is they actually do throw off a lot of heat. So if it's if it's the winter time, it'll actually warm up the room that it's in. Um, again, you've got a handle so you can hang them. They're made to hang off of the inside of a tent or a lean-to. You know, these were really made to be used outdoors. You can use them indoors, but just like with a Coleman stove, you're going to want to crack a window because if you leave one going for too long, you may end up getting kind of a headache and, well, you're getting carbon poisoning at that time. So and nobody needs that. So anyway, let's take a look and see what it looks like. <laughs> As you can see... You can play cards to that one. That is right. You definitely sure. could. You could play cards or have a drink. Or... They have a nice reflector on them so you can hang them up. 
and they light up a whole room. Yeah. And you could read a book well, and yeah. do whatever you wanted. Yeah, definitely well, could. That one, these haven't been run in a long time. You'd think being off grid, we'd use these a lot. We don't. We really don't. Matter of fact, after we got all of our utilities and stuff working here and the solar set up and everything going, I can't remember using a lantern since. <laughs> Most of our Coleman stuff is stored in the basement. It's there if we need it, but, you know, if you're living on the grid and your power goes out, as that dies down, you can see it's burning off the rest of the fuel. I've actually shut it off. And those are called mantles. Yes. Now, those are like a little cloth bag, and you tie them. I don't know if you can actually see them. They're a, uh, they're a little cloth bag that you tie around where the gas comes out. Mm -hmm. And then you light them, and they burn. There you go. See these little bags? They like little mittens. That's right. They do. And actually, I think they might be fiberglass. I think, I think they're a fiberglass material. I don't know. But they... Uh, I don't know, but... What you see inside the lantern after they shrink up... They're like a netting. That's what it feels like, a netting. You're actually looking at the ash. So what you're seeing in these, the little white balls that are burning, is actually ash. So they're very, very sensitive. You, you don't want to touch them because they crumble. I don't know if you can see it. But that's, that's how these work. Now, the difference in these two lanterns, if you see, this one says dual fuel, and this one is just green, and it says Coleman. This really is supposed to have real Coleman fuel or some type of lantern fuel in it. It's, it's naphtha, but it, it's still, you know, it's still like stove fuel or Coleman, white gas. It's white gas. Um, these ones that run on what's called dual fuel, super unleaded out of the pump, will run on that lantern. And I think the basic difference, the generator or the, the brass parts in there and the valves have a different type of O-ring. You can burn gasoline in these, but it only works for a short period of time. The O-rings go and you need to rebuild your lantern, which actually may be what's wrong with this one. I, I don't know. I noticed it wasn't, wasn't real keen about building pressure. But So that's what those two are. They're basically a jug of liquid flammable fuel under pressure in your house. <laughs> Yay! Now, you'd think this would be dangerous. Again, Coleman. I'm a big fan of Coleman stuff. It's very rugged. Uh, these run on a regular propane cylinder like you'd have for a torch or a cook stove or anything like that. And this one actually has its own lighter because it's a lot easier than screwing around and sticking this up in there. And if you touch the mantles, they're going to fall apart. So then you need new mantles. So this one, you just turn it all wide open. And then you hit the button. And that's it. Easy. I like that one. And as you can see, it gives off the same amount of light as the regular fluid lanterns do. Um, I want to say these... If you're going to be up like for several hours, like if you're camping or something, you're going to run these for six or seven hours, you're probably going to get a couple nights out of one of these cylinders before you need to change them. You know, and they're cheap. You can get them at Walmart or any place. It doesn't have to be the Coleman ones. Any of them will work. They have all got the, th the same threads. You also can get a, um, a mast that we got that actually goes on a 20-pound propane cylinder. And that mast, will, that mast will hold one of these lanterns on the very tip top. It stands up on the top. The propane cylinder becomes your base. So the mast stands up. The lantern goes on top. And there's an adapter hose to hook right to your, uh, your propane stove. And you've got a whole little cook sto station running on one propane bottle, which really works good. That's, that's a real nice added feature. I'll have to dig that out and show it to you folks sometime. But uh, anyway, so that is a propane Coleman lantern. Now we're going to move on to something really, really, really primitive, but it's actually one of my favorites. I just love them. They're too easy. Uh, the only thing easier may be the propane. These are my favorite. These are regular old kerosene lamps. Now these work just like the hurricane lamp. They really do. But they throw an awful lot more light. 
an awful lot. I'm gonna let that get started. I'll let's see if I can get this one lit too. Actually, looks like I'm gonna have to. No extra charge to watch all the dust falling off. That's it right. Does that. Well, here's the thing. These lanterns still get used. I love these. And really, when your power goes out, what is quicker than lighting a match and just lighting one of these wicks? It's nothing but a big candle. And yeah, the glass and they've got lamp oil in them. This one has been run on kerosene a lot. They will run on kerosene. Um, that's why the bottom of it looks discolored. This lantern here was in my parents' house before it was my parents' house. It was my grandparents' lantern. I'm sure this lantern's probably at least 150 years old. Um, really, there's no difference between this and this. This one here is one that it's we a got. Newer. Yeah, this is this is new. That's like Walmart new. That's where that yeah. came from. Yeah, but it works good because it's got a big tank. And then uh, there's the light that they put off, which is actually... They're a nice light. It's a nice... It's a nice relaxing. warm light. It's, yep. it's a lot brighter. As you can see, it's brighter than the Hurricane Lantern by far. Um, you can, you know, s spread them apart. You can, really, mm -hmm. you can really light up quite an area. And, yep. and again, you don't want to turn your wick up so much that it starts to flicker. Because when you see it start to flicker like that, that's when it's going to burn soot. You want to turn it down so that it isn't flickering, so that it's moving very little. Yeah, I guess the black smoke comes out of the top. That's right. It's awful. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's burning too rich. Yep. You're trying, to burn the, nice. uh, you're trying to burn the fumes here, not the uh, actual wick itself. Mm -hmm. well, right before a lot of people got electricity around here, they came out with something called the Aladdin lamp. Now, those don't have a flat wick like what these have. This all these have is just a flat wick that goes down through here you have a little a little feeder that raises it up and down you crank that down into the into the kerosene and it wicks right up through and that, that's what's burning now the Aladdins have a wick like this but it's round okay and it burns much cleaner and much brighter the usually the stack on them is much taller and it's straight yeah. and they're usually either brass or stainless steel and I'm thinking that they were probably very expensive. They're antiques now. We have one. I don't have the wick for it. I couldn't see any point in dragging it out here to show you. These are my personal favorite. I don't know what yours are. You can actually chime in. I'm not going to influence that. Oh, all. I like these. I, yeah. I like the, not necessarily to read by, but it's kind of nice to just, like you said, when we just want to sit and relax and... Um, they don't put off a lot of odor no. as long as you put lamp oil in them, which is basically paraffin. They will run on kerosene, and you do get somewhat of a kerosene odor like you would from a kerosene heater. You can mitigate that by putting vanilla, drops of vanilla in your kerosene. That does help. I've run 50-50 lamp oil to kerosene, and then you can't smell the kerosene. The lamp oil goes farther. Yep. So, I mean, there's lots of different options for that, too. If you had one of these and a couple of those quart jugs of paraffin, the clear lamp oil, you can light your house or at least one room for a long, long time, you know, and it, it makes a big difference. I like them. I like them. I just think they're cool. We've got a bunch of them. That's our alternative lighting episode. All right. Giveaway time. Yeah. Giveaway. Okay. As we already talked about, we get this real neat little... Neat little battery-operated light, yeah. LED with a compass. Uh, we've got that, and we've got a couple of fire starters here that uh, we were going to do some reviews on. Now, I played with them a little bit, and they actually do work quite well. That's pretty warm. Now, just to get it clear, we did not, nobody sent these to us. We did not get them for free. We're not sponsored. We're not, we, um, I bought these off from Amazon. I've seen the little clips of videos um, scrolling through Pinterest I think it is and, and we thought they look cool yeah and I thought they look kind of cool you know the you know, all of this stuff is under ten dollars each so it's not like we're breaking the bank here these are yeah. these are things that if you don't win it and it looks cool to you you know uh, maybe you ought to get one because I yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now they all seem like they're pretty neat you know yeah 
A battery operated lantern, you can always use that anyway, but uh, that was kind of an afterthought. Yeah. So this, uh, this first one is this little shape like a bomb. Shaped like a bomb. And it's got uh, key ring. It's got a key ring. You can put it right on your key ring. It's got a little flint in here. Now, there is a tank in the bottom of this and a little wick. They say you can put gasoline or kerosene in there. I I, I use lighter fluid because to me it's it's just like a uh, that's up there. Oh, it's all right. It's just like a regular Zippo lighter. Oh, you know, it does the same thing. It these have the little cotton. It's like a sponge in them that holds the lighter fluid. This has the same thing. But what its job is, is you unthread the tail off the bomb here. <laughs> and you can see that it's got a little piece of, uh, little piece of uh, material like cotton on there. And it's got a little striker. So you take it over here to the, uh, to the little the striker, on, striker the side. on the side. And you... You got a match. Yeah. You can light anything with that. And that's gonna burn that's till that good. till that fluid goes out. And there you go. Ooh. Okay, and as you can see, that didn't burn that hardly at all because you're burning the vapors from the lighter fluid. Right. So that is a X V X F E? Yeah. I These really don't know how to Amazon. pronounce that. Bought on Amazon. Yep. Eight dollars and almost nine dollars. And once again, what I what I put in it for fuel is the same stuff that I put in my Zippo lighter. So that's that's what I use. It just seems like the safe. So whoever wins that, it's going to come. I don't know. I may dump that fuel out for Probably shipping. Probably should just in case it leaks. But uh, I'll also wipe my fingerprints off in case you do anything naughty with it. <laughs> don't do anything naughty. Naughty. And this next one is a little more involved. This one is from the Honest Corporation. It comes with this actually has instructions and stuff. This has two key rings, a carabiner, and a bottle opener. And it does actually almost the exact same thing. You unthread this, and there's the end. That looks familiar, doesn't it? And again. Oh, wait, I'm going to, there we go. Oh, yeah, see, I'll just light it again. Ah, it worked. There you go. <laughs> again, it's just got like a little piece of fabric on there, and this, this one actually came with another wick, so you can replace that and cut it off many times, which I'll give, if I'm going to, I like the little one better because it's small, but if you don't mind having this one on your key ring, which is relatively heavy, mm -hmm. The uh, the little like a pipe cleaner thing that you're using for you know to hold your uh, your fluid like a wick, this this company actually sends you a big hunk of that to go with it. And I think it gives you like their little black seals or something just in case maybe. Oh, it's yeah the, the little it actually that came with new O rings for the yeah for the piston That's here too. That's what it is. But I they, thought they were cool because you could take and put these like if you do have a. A go bag or a get out a dodge bag or a bug out bag or whatever you call it. Um, you can put these on your little zipper and you'll have a way to light a fire if you need to or light I a lantern. I don't know how long they'll last without the fluid evaporating because a Zippo, I can fill this right up and even if I don't light it, which like I said, it works just the same way. Um, even if you don't light it, that fuel will evaporate in about two weeks, and you'll have to fill it again. So I'm not I'm not sure if these will do the same thing, or if where they're sealed up, they may they may last a lot longer. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing they may last a lot longer. Yeah. But this this lighter fluid, I don't think it's more than like five bucks for a bottle of this stuff. This this would last you a lifetime. <laughs> it's good to have around anyway, especially if you've got a Zippo lighter or anything. Yeah. But uh, Anyway, so that's uh, that's the quickie review of the stuff. Yeah. Why don't you tell them what they have to do to enter and win? So what you have to do is like this video, go down and comment. Um, what's going to be the word? Let's comment. Pyromania. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Let's comment. Uh, <laughs> off grid. 
the word off grid. If you're interested in winning something, uh, in your comment somewhere, put off grid. Um, and we'll pick, these are the three, there'll be three separate prizes. Um, and what else do we want them to do? Subscribe and hit the bell. How's that? And that way, when we do do the, the picking of the pri of the winner, you'll be notified when our video comes up. Which... The winners and the prizes per winner will be picked at random? Picked at random, yes. Yeah, I'll probably use a random comment picker or, you know, the high-tech way of writing each name down, putting it in a bucket and pulling one out. I don't know which. <laughs> I got my hands all dirty from playing with the lanterns. Yeah, the comment picker works really well. Um, that was hot, so that's why I left it. It's all right. I have no feeling anymore. Yeah. But we'll give that a week or so, and we'll obviously, like we always do, read the comments and... If you are interested in winning any of these, we'll, we will put you in the bucket to be picked. Here's to being in the bucket. <laughs> so once again. So here we are. Yeah, from Whiskey and Sunshine. <laughs> we're lit. No, we're not, so, uh, we're not lit anymore. They're out. Press like and subscribe. That's right. See you later. Bye.